the UK As Foreign Office uh, has issued an urgent travel warning for the UAE of all places, including Dubai and Abu Dhabi. The warning advises British nationals to be cautious due to potential threats to their safety. This move comes, of course, at, uh, after the recent terrorist attacks in Moscow, which the U.S. immediately attributed to ISIS-K, and ISIS-K apparently claimed uh, responsibility for that. But nearly everyone else in the world believes that the attack uh, is the work of American intelligence, which, of course, does not preclude that ISIS-K committed it, as ISIS-K has rather conspicuously uh, only been targeting uh, America's official enemies for uh, quite some time now. Now, the Russians believe that uh, Ukraine was involved, and the uh, United uh, the United Nations said that uh, they couldn't unequivocally say that Ukraine was not involved. So it's still unclear about that. We know that the attackers uh, were escaping to Ukraine, uh, and that uh, there are ISIS fighters uh, who are in Ukraine also, uh, fighting on the side of the Americans, and they've been there for quite some time. So for anyone uh, who didn't already have this impression, it seems clearer now, after the Moscow attack, it, it, it's clearer now that U.S. intelligence does appear to be using so-called jihadi groups like ISIS uh, as destabilization agents, uh, wherever and whenever uh, they believe that that will serve a useful function uh, for American policy or American interests, such as in Iran, in Russia, in the Ukraine, in the Sahel, in Syria, and on and on and on. In the Sahel, for example, uh, the West used so-called jihadi groups to justify their continued military presence in countries like Mali, in Niger, in Burkina Faso, and so on. Uh, but now that uh, most of the Western troops are gone, those countries are only becoming more effective in fighting the terrorists. Burkina Faso annihilated a hundred so-called jihadis in one day, for example. So yes, it's not particularly ambiguous to most people uh, that these types of groups are essentially Western operatives, uh, acting as a sort of uh, informal American or European version uh, of Russia's Wagner. They're mercenaries, like any other private military contractor, either knowingly or unknowingly, either taking direct instructions or uh, being guided by infiltrators who coordinate with Western intelligence in Allahu Alam. Now, the attack in Moscow was horrific, and it was filmed, and the videos were distributed all across the Internet for maximum delivery of the message being sent. The West, and more specifically America, wherever they cannot engage in formal uh, military operations will resort to the mobilization of terrorists. The world superpower will engage in asymmetrical warfare any place uh, that they are either unwilling or unable to engage in traditional warfare. That's the new strategy. Uh, that's America's new strategy militarily. Of course, it's not actually new, uh, but I would say that this practice is uh, likely to intensify, and it will generally replace standard military operations, in my opinion. Uh, the purpose is to, number one, is to punish uh, and to destabilize, but also to deliver a message to others. This is why they used to drill holes in the heads of uh, detainees in Guatemala and El Salvador, and Nicaragua, for example, and why they used to uh, mutilate uh, bodies of the detained in the Philippines and then float their corpses down rivers uh, where people used to draw water and wash their clothes so they'd be sure that villagers would see them. They're sending a message to anyone who is defiant, and that message is unambiguous, if you're defiant, we will terrorize you. BRICS is very important to the UAE, uh, and the UAE is very important to BRICS. When the UAE uh, joined BRICS, that increased the uh, reach of the UAE. And when the UAE joined BRICS, it increased the reach and power of BRICS as an organization enormously. The entire infrastructure that the UAE, along with Saudi Arabia, though the, the Saudis are uh, comparatively new in this game, the infrastructure that they've been building over the past few years, their control of ports, uh, their involvement in the Horn of Africa, the Sahel, Egypt, and so on. All of that became assets to be, that could be integrated uh, into the uh, what you can call the grand strategy, the total strategy uh, of BRICS for transitioning the center of the global economy uh, and for uh, taking the global south out of uh, the western sphere of influence. Now, as I said, a significant portion of the OCGFC are in favor of this, and the smartest among them, uh, in my opinion, have embraced it, and they're actively collaborating uh, with BRICS and with the UAE and with Saudi Arabia uh, so they don't get left behind. However, as I said, there are the neocons and they're still around and they're still dangerous and they are not on board. They're seeing American power and American influence diminishing. They're seeing it declining and they don't like it. So in my opinion, uh, again, I think that they are resorting to unleashing terrorist lackeys, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and so on, uh, as well as smaller, even non-religious groups to destabilize and wreak as much havoc and as much chaos as they can. Uh, this in and of itself 
also signals the declining power of the neocons, who previously uh, could have mustered the entire American armed forces to wage war and invasions and occupations and so forth. But now uh, they're reduced to just sending out fanatics and mercenaries. So if the West is warning the UAE about a possible terrorist attack, uh, in my opinion, that's self-incrimination. Because the UAE does not get information about so-called jihadis from America or from Britain, but America and Britain uh, get that information uh, from the UAE themselves. Noteworthy also is that this warning follows a similar warning alert uh, that was issued in France, claiming that an attack there might be imminent uh, following the uh, Moscow incident. And that, in my opinion, falls under the same uh, general destabilization project that the U.S. has been uh, inflicting on Europe for at least the last two years. I would predict that Europe, uh, not the Middle East, uh, will be the main stage uh, of terrorist activity uh, probably over the next decade, perhaps by so-called jihadis uh, and perhaps by others, nationalists, uh, political extremists, uh, environmental fanatics, and so on. There's, take your pick. They have, they have plenty uh, radicals to choose from in Europe. Therefore, in my opinion, if something does happen, actually, in the UAE, I would say that the ones who have warned about it will also be the ones who are responsible for it.